Hi, everyone. I'm your host, Lisa, and welcome to Single in a Small Town podcast, a conversational podcast discussing dating, relationships, and the shenanigans that go along with these topics. Today, I am solo styles, so you guys get to see me in the raw. I've had a lot of people ask me what inspired me to do this, so I decided to create today's episode, episode number five, to let you know what my intentions are completely behind this entire podcast series. So first, um, if you like the content so far, please feel free to like and subscribe on YouTube. Still considering doing other platforms, but right now I am just on YouTube. I also have an Instagram page and a, and a Facebook page, Single in a Small Town Podcast. Um, so today I would like to be taught, I'm going to be talking about my why. Why did I decide to create this podcast and engage with you all? Well, first off, I've been single many years and it's a struggle out there. We, you know, everybody out there is seeming to try to understand there's all these articles, there's all these dating coaches and these experts. Look, I'm not an expert. I don't know a fucking thing. All I'm doing is trying to navigate this world of dating relationships and I want to make them better. So the main point of me creating this podcast is to really figure out, get different guests on this show and really figure out what different perspectives are because there's not a one size fits all for everybody. Despite what articles want to tell you or experts want to tell you, not everybody has the same thought process. Not everybody's into the same exact thing. And it is super annoying to hear these people talk about what they think they know when that's not a one size fits all. Not everybody will fit into these categories that these experts or dating coaches or any of these people really think. Now, a lot of them give really good advice. I'm not here to give you any advice except for some dating tips for safety because honestly, that is well needed. And some of it's common sense. And sometimes as humans, and I am that person too, we lose track of what our common sense is telling us because we justify things in our own head. We are human beings. We are not artificial intelligence. And this artificial intelligence world is really going to screw us all up because it's not, it's taken away our abilities to be human, but I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole today. What I am going to go down is really helping you guys understand why I've created this podcast. And it's to create a better understanding on how to help and improve dating as well as relationships and marriages. You know, some people are stuck in a marriage that they don't understand their partner and maybe one wants to go to therapy maybe the other one doesn't maybe they both want to and they can't come to an agreement maybe neither one of them really has the time you know they got kids in softball soccer lacrosse dance gymnastics whatever the case may be they don't understand so so far in my podcast i have been talking to mainly single people and really i want to gain more perspective with married people and people in relationships, the people juggling their kids, their careers, everything else that goes along with it. Because it's a lot. Being a single woman that's self-employed, I'm a hairstylist, I just, I run my own show, I do my own thing. Nobody tells me how to live my life, um, except for um, nobody. So there, <laughs> there's that. But when you have all these external forces going, I need you to do this, I need you to do that, some people feel drawn and it's got to be draining. I'm exhausted listening to some of my friends that have multiple kids and hearing their schedules and then working a full-time job or running a business or doing both. It's exhausting for me and I don't have any of that. So I want to hear from those people and I want to do some interviews with people that are juggling that, that kind of stuff. And how do you keep your marriage alive? And also, how do you really figure out what the other person's saying when there's a miscommunication, and let's be honest, there's always miscommunications within people. If you're telling me that you and your partner have perfect communication all the time, you're fucking lying. But that's what I think anyways. Maybe you're not. I don't know. Let me take a sip of water. Um, so let me just start off by, I'm not start off because I'm clearly already started talking, but I am a single woman. I was born and raised halfway in New England, and I am in central part of Florida. Really don't want to disclose exactly what small town I'm in, but it's not really that much of a small town until you're in it, and then it's a very small town. So, you know, there, there's places that people are going to be like, oh, well, I'm in a town of 
five hundred people. Yeah, we don't. I, there's five hundred people in my neighborhood. I, that's not the kind of thing. But when you're socializing in this area, you're in a very small town. Everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows everybody's business. The people that want to share their business, that is. Um, and it can it can be it can be hard for us to really want to date within our small communities now. As an adult, like I'm in my mid I'm a middle aged woman, I'm in my 40s. Um, it doesn't mean that I won't date somebody in my community. I just haven't met that person that's in my community that I want to date. So, um, uh, and another reason, so I, I wanted to start off by saying that and I'm losing a little bit of track here, a little bit of momentum, mainly because this ring light is really bright in my face. And um, I also have something to do tonight and I have to have a little bit of a time crunch. I had a sound issue. So, um, you know, this is one thing that I do want to touch on because when I mentioned I'm going to create a podcast about dating relationships, so many people came out of the woodworks and said, I have stories. I have stories. Look, I have stories. The thing is, I don't want to relive those stories. A lot of them are not great. Some of them are wonderful. But at the end of the day, I'm still single. And those stories are going to hold me back. Telling those stories over and over and over again are not going to do anything good for me or for you. It's literally just going to bring up past memories and make us stay stuck in that area of feeling lack. And I don't want to be in that space anymore. I don't want to be in that headspace. I want to grow from here. I want to learn everybody's different perspectives of what they think about online dating, dating in the wild, which by the way, that's my little buzzword. Dating in the wild means organic dating. I also want to talk about marriage and relationships and how they how they're able to um, do all the things that they're able to do. What you have two people, sometimes multiple kids, multiple commitments, careers. As I was saying earlier in this episode, and to me, it's exhausting. But I want to know how people. Keep the relationships and their marriages alive. And I want to hear from those people. Um, so also, I decided to create this podcast because I always have to be learning. I need to learn something new all the time. I'm self-employed. I do my own thing every day. I have a very, I'm very lucky to have a wonderful clientele. And I talk about this stuff with these people all the time. And what's amazing is hearing everybody's stories and different perspectives and how they balance everything. And quite honestly, I, I just, I'm very uncomfortable being on camera, even though you probably don't think so. I hate it. I also hate the way my mouth moves and I hate my voice. And right now I am being smothered with pollen and there's little green worms hanging from the trees. There's like a whole cast of net of little green worms in my house and it is so gross. So I'm a little raspy right now. Hopefully through the weeks that will clear up. I mean, I've been suffering from allergies for about two weeks now. My last episode with James, I almost canceled because I could not really talk that well. Um, my allergies have been so bad. Um, I brought back Lisa from episode number one, who is my unofficial co-host. I've been asking her for years. Um, she's not really a co-host, but she is going to be a returning person. The one thing about Lisa and I is we have a lot of the same views. So that's kind of a little different. That's I need somebody also too. I want to interview women and men with completely different perspectives from mine. So that way we can all gain an understanding and you might relate to somebody and you might completely disagree with somebody, but that's the beauty of being a human. And that's the beauty of doing this show. So um, another thing, um, I was reading my notes. Another thing, like uh, the people's perspectives of how things should be. So a lot of people just walk around like, I don't understand why they do this. I don't understand why they do that. I don't understand how this person does that or I don't get this. Well, you know what? It's because we're human and we all do things differently. We all program things differently. We were all raised differently. No two people are exactly the same. And if they are, that's boring. And that's the beauty also of being a human. So um, that is mainly the reason why I created Single in a Small Town. And I really want to dive deep into a lot of different topics. Some of them might be a little controversial, and that's totally fine um, because it still gives us a different perspective. And if we stay stuck in that narrow-minded way of thinking, how do we grow? How do we grow as human beings? If we stay reliving all those 
traumatic dates or those shit relationships that we had and, and, and still talk about this thing over and over and over again. How, where's the growth in that? Sure, there's some healing, but where's the actual growth? I am looking to grow as a human being. I am also looking to grow in, in this podcast. And I also want people to really join me and help me understand. So I welcome anybody to message me either on this podcast, through social media, on my email address, senthalaristalisa at yahoo.com, because I want to be able to bring more content to you guys that you want to see in here. One of the things that I'd like to get into at some point is finding people with different religious backgrounds. So I would like to talk to people with a Jewish background. I want to talk to Christians, Catholics, um, Hindu, anything that's different, Muslim. I would like to talk to single people and married people that follow those religious protocols and really put together a really cool series about the difference in dating within those cultures and how they can actually find the partner they're looking for or what they're willing to compromise on. So if you know anybody at all that is that follows a specific religious dating protocol or marriage protocol, they can be single, they can be married, just as long as they have a dynamic personality to add to this show, please send them my way. Show them this podcast. Say, hey, and you know what? They can say what they want to say, but they don't have to say everything. But we just want the perspective and the idea of what people are looking for. I know people that have switched religions in order to find their perfect partner. And they have a beautiful relationship. And that's what they were looking for. And I think that is absolutely wonderful. Me, particularly, I consider myself spiritual. I have my own little belief system. It's a little bit of everything peppered in. Oh, and Scientology. I want to add Scientology to that list because we live kind of in a little bit of a Scientology area. That might be um, a little giveaway of where we're at. Um, but I want those perspectives to come in. So if you know anybody that has different perspectives within those communities, I want to speak to people who are gay, who are straight, who are trans, who are bi, all of everything that could be on there. I just need to interview them first to make sure that they're going to be a good match with me to be able to banter with me and also to bring good content to you guys. Cause that is at the end of the day, what I want to do. I want to bring effective, good content. And you also have to be comfortable in front of the camera. Not everybody's uncomfortable in front of the camera. Some people's jobs will not allow them to do something like this because of exposure. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you all can bring me some people that will shed some light on these different perspectives and any age is welcome. Um, I would like to speak to an older married couple, somebody who's been married 50 plus years that doesn't mind speaking about this and we'll have fun with this podcast. Um, I will be interviewing people in particular to make sure that they're a good fit. So not everybody will get on here, but I'm, I'm hoping that we can find the right fit of people. Even if they're further away, that's totally fine. If they're further away, we can always do a Zoom call and I'll figure that out. Um, so that being said, let me check my notes. Um, that, those are some of the things that I really want to shed light on. And um, since I am solo styles, I do want to tell you guys my douche move of the week is stringing somebody along that you know it's not going to go anywhere. You know, you like their personality. You just don't want to deal with it. Sometimes we just string people along and we really don't mean to. And um, don't, don't do that. It's a douche move. And I did that. So it sucks. Um, don't do that shit. So that is my douche move of the week. And since I don't have anybody to have a conversation with, because it's just me, myself, and I, I am going to cut this short. So like I said, if you have anybody you know that would be interested in doing this, um, be raw, as raw as you can be, since you are going to be in the public eye. Um, and also, any, any singles groups that you think would be a good fit to like maybe do a couple short videos on people that are open to this, I would love I would love to do any of those single things. I know we have a lot of Facebook forums that are coming out with singles in this area, and I think that's super cool, and I would like to make it to some of the events. Um, so if, if that happens and you're a moderator to any of these, please reach out, sendflowers to lisa at yahoo.com. Um, also... 
I am not the best at getting back in a timely manner just because I have so many things to check between my business, now the podcast, social media accounts. I am not the best. The best way to message me is through my email address. I'm hoping that I can return it within a couple of days, your emails in a couple of days. So just be patient with me there. I will respond if you send me an email. Um, on social media, I may, it may get lost because that happens, but the email address is the best way to reach me. Um, so anywho, I just wanted to say thank you all for your support so much. Thanks for talking to me about it. I have started up so many different conversations with you all just based on the content you've already heard. And this is only four episodes in. this is my fifth episode. It's just short and sweet. Allergy season is killing all of us here in central Florida. Not all of us, but half of us. And I'm one of those people. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I can hear it in my voice and it is driving me crazy. That being said, I have to get ready for my event tonight. Um, I was having sound issues, sound quality issues with my phone because that's what I record on. And it's been challenging. Also, too, I have another thing that I want to ask you guys. If you know a way to connect three microphones to my iPhone, I bought one device to do it, or I bought a device to connect three microphones to my iPhone. It did not work. Um, I've tried it several times in several ways. It just doesn't work, and that sucks. So I want to be able to bring maybe a, a married couple in to talk about what they their things. Um, only good things. We're not focusing on negativity here. There will be some negative stuff, but we really want to focus on improving communications improving the understanding of human behavior in the world of ai human behavior is going to be a lost art we're all going to be a little bit of robots i hope that's not the case i'm not going to look like a robot but um that that seems to be hey talk to chat gbt it's going to tell you or whatever ai platform it's going to tell you what to write cool where's the creativity in that there is none there is none it's gonna take all of our minds out anyways i digress so that's all the time I have for today because I have to get ready and I have to eat something before I leave so I don't get hammered tonight. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube, Single in a Small Town. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I will let you know when I become available on other platforms if I decide to choose to do that. I'm still playing with this idea. Um, so don't forget to send me that, those likes and subscribes and hit that notification button. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next week. We have some really cool content coming out. And uh, don't forget to also send this to your friends. So see you next week when we go down the rabbit hole of dating and relationships.